So nine months after the Crusher ANC2 have been released, a few asked me to compare them with the Heavy's H1H to see which of these two headphones reigns supreme when it comes to being the king or queen of bass heavy headphones. So I ordered myself a pair of Crushers and threw them in the ring with Heavy's first headphones. And to my surprise, the outcome was quite the opposite of what I initially expected it to be. Let's compare the two headphones before we dive deeper into what makes these two headphones the perfect candidates for comparison. Yeah, of course, the bass. As soon as I took the Crusher ANC2 out of their box, I immediately had a revelation. Two out of two bass heavy headphones are heavy in terms of weight, so I guess there is some kind of pattern. And I mean these two are the heaviest headphones in terms of weight that I actually own and that I've used up until this review video. Design wise they are both, well, let's say like it is, complex and simple at the same time. Plastic on both ear cups, metal as the main frame for stability, lots of buttons on both headphones, a scroll wheel for the crusher, a rotational knob for the heavies. Solid cushioning on both headphones, smoother on the heavies ear cups, the memory foam on the crushers ear cups are a tad more mm, springy. In terms of features, both feature everything you expect and the crushers even a tad more. ANC, which is called help locker on the heavies, is good and does its job quite okay on both. Except that the crusher isn't as capable in terms of blocking out the lower volumes, such as rumblings, as reliable as the heavies. And the crusher introduced quite a hefty amount of white noise, which gets irritating fast. Other than that, both feature multipoint connection. The crusher also have voice control for the headphones themselves, three different voice assistants, on board, different equalizer presets, a personalized sound profile with the test function, Spotify tab, a search function via the app if you don't know where you last placed your headphones actually at, and a function that can make your headphones the prime controller of your phone camera. <laughs> Okay, and let's uh, and it actually lets you shoot photos via voice command. All in all, a solid row of functions, which quite a few feel like a gimmick and tagged on for the sake of actually having more features. For me, less is more, especially if the main functions are better, which in this case actually goes to the heavies. Now let's get into why most people would actually get one or the other of these headphones. Uh, the Royal Rumble. Sound quality for both of these is different quite different to be more specific actually. The Skull Candy feature a rotating wheel that is primarily made to introduce more bass into your sound. Without this actually called Crusher Bass Adjustment Slider, these already sound full. I mean, especially while watching YouTube videos, these feel like they have been pushed in the midst to the max. And these are definitely not made for people looking for exact reproduction of audio like it was mixed in the studio by the artists themselves, but of course for the lovers of bass. As you rotate the bass in via the scroll wheel on the side, the bass takes actually over. And um, I mean that in the wildest and most brutal way possible. And let's be honest, it's impressive at least for a short amount of time. It's the most amount of bass I have experienced in any headphone ever and the outer shell even begins to physically rattle under the immense volume these can actually produce bass wise. And that's also why I think these aren't good headphones. The bass immediately takes over and I mean it really takes over. It drowns out every other frequency by a mile. The only thing left is a tad of highs on the top end. The rest is, as the name suggests, crushed under the immense pressure of bass. So listening on the highest settings is fun for like 10 seconds or so and then it gets stale immediately. Dialing it down makes them sound less impressive and um, getting it to a level that sounds okay to my ears was roughly around 20% bass level. So 80% of what makes these headphones special is actually wasted. Now actually comparing this with the Heavy's H1H, there is clearly a difference that comes from the usage of four different drivers implemented per ear cup, which 
each are able to actually reproduce a specific area of frequencies. It's a much more balanced and still heavy sound overall without losing the power and rawness you expect from a headphone built with four speakers in each ear cup. Even when pushing the volume to almost max, you can still hear the mids and the highs through the pumping bass clearly. Overall, these are the better headphones in direct sound quality comparison in all genres I tested, which was metal, electronic, rap, pop, and for the sake of it, which doesn't actually make much sense, a true crime podcast. But let's hear it for yourself. Here's a binaural ANC test with both headphones for you to actually compare. And to make it fair, you should use a headphone yourself to listen to it that is also able to reproduce a good amount of bass. <laughs> After the sound comparison, my verdict is actually pretty much writing itself. If you strive for bass alone and nothing but bass, you should go for the Crusher ANC2s. These can give you an, let's call it, ungodly amount of bass. And as soon, my light just died, and as soon as you like to also hear everything else there is with music, dialing them actually down, you should get another pair of headphones. The heavies on the other hand have a much greater, brighter and more balanced sound spectrum on its hand, which also have a nice punchy bass on its hand, but lets you still enjoy the rest of what your music can actually offer. Now, are the heavies the best headphones for music lovers out there? Of course not. There are so many other headphones that are better for specific genres and also for the exact reproduction of music, but when it comes to bass and actually punch, I would take these over any other headphones and especially over, well, the crushers anytime without thinking twice. As always, my name is Leech and I'm off writing the next scripts. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. There are plenty more of this type of content and many other things available for you to watch. Have a great day, see you around and goodbye. <laughs>